going to take a look today at some of the ways you can teach your dog left finish. A finish is when you take your dog from a front position into a heel position. So I have Myra here with me right now, and she's going to get from the front into the heel. Myra, get in. Yes, good girl. Thank you, Myra. Okay, I'm going to put Myra outside for a minute, and then I'm going to explain to you. So I have another little dog here today. And if you can use your imagination, this is my dog's head and my dog's body. So when I'm going uh, from a front position and doing a right finish, my dog is going to travel around my body, and his head's going to come out right here. However, when I'm doing from a front to a left, I don't want my dog's head to travel very much at all. I want my dog's body to swing, but the head to basically stay where it was. So I'll just show you again. My dog's head is right here. The body, excuse me, Red Rover. Red Rover, excuse me, thank you. The body swings. And the head is just pivoting until the dog is in the correct heel position. So there are a couple of ways to train that. And I've asked Red Rover to help me demonstrate those. Okay. To get my dog into the left finish position, I can do it using a hand touch. And I want to be careful not to reach my hand too far back because if I do, my dog's head is going to travel, no, excuse me, not yet. My dog's hand, head is going to travel as far back as my hand does. And I don't want my dog's head to travel that far back. I simply want my dog's head to pivot. So I'm going to take a small step back with my left foot to indicate motion. I'm going to move my hand a little bit, and I'm going to ask for a touch. Touch. Yes. And as soon as he touches, I'm going to give him a treat. Okay, I'm going to try it again. And this time, when I do the touch, because he's quite proficient with that, I'm going to, excuse me, wait. I'm going to flip my hand and pull him forward as well, so that his body spins about and he's pointed back in this direction. So it looks like this. Red Rover, touch. Yes. Now it's gonna take you a little longer to do it with your dog because your dog is not going to understand fully what you're doing. So do it incrementally, a little bit at a time. Now there's another way that we can teach this. Again, trying to make sure that we uh, don't get too much head motion. So we're going to ask our dog to come in front. Front. Yes. So our dog is sitting directly in front of us. And I'm going to shuffle forward. I'm not going to step on his toes or anything. But as I shuffle forward, my dog is wise enough to know that he's going to have to get out of my way. And so the minute he moves, I'm going to mark and reward that. Yes. Good. So front. Now this time when he moves, I'm going to use my hand to shape his movement a little bit. And to do that, I'm going to use my thumb and my pointer finger. I'm going to block the treat with these other three fingers, and I'm going to maneuver my hand so that my dog has to turn in order to be able to access the treat. And then when he's in the correct position, I'm going to say yes. Yes.
Now you'll notice I didn't put the treat in my fingers that time. That's because my dog knows this signal very well and knows that I'm telling him to move in some way. You will need for a while to have the treat in your fingers until your dog gets to know that signal well. Now there's a third way you can teach this and it's using platforms. If your dog is already used to using platforms, your dog will quickly recognize and understand what's happening. Um, if not, you're going to have to shape having your dog get onto platforms. So my dog knows that if I put that platform down in front of me, that I'm expecting him to sit there. Yes. And I'm using this platform that I've used before to practice pivoting by my side. And I'm going to put it on here. And now I'm going to ask him to move from one platform to another just by signaling this way. Rip over this way. And we're not sure what to do because we've never done this exercise before. Yes, but he does know the platform, so you can see he quickly catches on. Red Bro, forget it. Yes. This way. Yes. Good job. Get it. The platforms help you ensure that you're getting the exact position that you want. Once your dog is quite comfortable with the position, yes, then you alternate with the platform and without the platform so that your dog gets very comfortable doing it in the correct position without the platforms as well. This way. Yes. Get it. Good job. 